Good morning. My name is Luna Mendez. I am 10 years old, and I won my, the scholarship in 2018 when I was in third grade. I would like to welcome all teachers, staff, students, guests, and graduating high school scholars to the 14th Annual Leadership Scholarship Ceremony. Hi, my name is Diego Soto. I won the scholarship in 2017, grade three. Please stand up for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. May the students remain standing. Hello, my name is Z.G. Liu. I won the scholarship in 2018, third grade. Now, I would like students to join me for the Harvard Kent Pride Pledge. Who are we? The Harvard Kent. Who are we? The Harvard Kent. How do we know? Because we got pride. I believe in myself and my teacher believes in me too. I care about my work and all that I do. My purpose is responsible, individual, determined to engage my learning. We know it and we show it in our pride. Thank you. Hello, my name is Gabriele Hernandez. I won the Leadership Scholarship Award in third grade 2017. Today I would like to recognize two of our founding members, P.D. Hilsinger and Jane Philippi. Unfortunately, P.D. is not able to attend today because she is attending her own grandson's graduation. Now I would like to introduce to you Mr. Gallagher. I'll move this up, Lou. Thanks, Gabrielli. I don't know if you guys remember when when Gabrielli won the scholarship a couple years ago, we believe she set the Harvard Kent record with having about 150 family members on stage for pictures. Um, so I'll never forget that one. About 15 minutes ago, it feels like, a truck pulled up with our brand new school podium. How do you like this one, guys, huh? Pretty cool, huh? Not bad. About, about three weeks ago, someone said to me, the podium just broke. You know, it's been here since 72, I guess that happened. So. Anyways, it's a pretty cool podium, so um, what a nice way to start the day. So I want to thank all the leader scholars who got us off to a good start this morning, and a special thanks to Louette and to Pat for helping to get them uh, prepared over the last week. I know they've been working hard after school and doing their work to practice their speeches, and they've done a nice job, so good job, guys, and thanks for your help. And of course, a special good morning to all our third, fourth, and fifth grade Harvard Kent students. How's everyone doing today? Yeah. We all know that this is our best day of the year. It's our uh, most fun assembly. Um, and we're excited that all you guys are here to celebrate this with us, because six of you out there are going to receive $1,000 college scholarships today. So that's for something a little later on. I uh, just want to recognize a couple more guests who are here with us today who have played a big role in our school, um, not just this year, but in past years as well. We have, I see uh, Chris and I see, uh, oh, Molly's not here, so I see Chris and I see Colleen from RSM. You guys can stand up and raise your hand. Come on, stand up. RSM has been a huge partner with us this year. We recipients of their Birdies for Love campaign. They're the reasons why we have a podium. They're the reasons why we have a speaker. So thank you to RSM for that. Uh, we have uh, Dr. Malone Nuzo from the MGH IHP. Thank you so much for being here. Another big partner of ours. They do so much with our students and our kids throughout the year and all summer, so we're excited that they're here. Um, so thank you for the support that you give to our students and to the Harvard Kent School. We're lucky to have you here in the best neighborhood of Boston, Charlestown. You know how much I love Charlestown. But you're also wonderful to all of our, our students and our teachers, and we thank you for that. This morning, we also celebrate six former Harvard Kent students who were chosen as leader scholars a few years back. They're all high school graduates, or they're, or they're about to be in the next couple of weeks, and they're all moving on to college. You'll meet them later on, but how cool is it to have former Harvard Kent students coming here 
to accept their scholarships for college. They were sitting in the same seats you were about seven years ago doing the same exact thing. It makes me feel old when I see someone like Desaya coming in, telling me, oh, I'm going to college, I'm gonna play soccer and basketball. I'm like, I, I remember when you were in fifth grade. Um, but it's a great group of kids and I can't wait for you to meet them later, um, later on. I'll be, I'm so happy that we added, added that to the ceremony a couple of years ago because it gives our Harvard Kent students now role models and kids they know they can look at and say, I can do that. In six, seven, eight years, I'm gonna graduate from high school as well. And I'm gonna go on to college just like these guys who went to the Harvard Kent. But today we are gonna add six more scholars to that group and I can't wait to share their names in a few minutes. But before then, we have a few more people who are gonna speak. First, I'd like to introduce the president of the Harvard Kent Leadership Scholarship Partnership. Lots of ships. Um, please welcome my good friend, Susan Madden. I'm not quite as tall as Jason. Okay, hi everybody. It's wonderful to be here. And the first two speakers and have already taken most of what I was gonna say, so I'm gonna be really short. Um, I want to welcome everybody from myself and the board to this 14th annual award ceremony. Um, and I think I can speak for everybody on the board. This is really one of our favorite days of the year. But it is also trying to pick six kids, two in the third, two in the fourth, and two in the fifth every year is just about kills us. It's just an impossible task because there's so many. This, this school is full of wonderful kids, hardworking, energetic, and I want to start this off by applauding all of you for all of your hard work. Uh, the partnership was, can everybody hear me? Am I on this? Um, the partnership was started 14 years ago by Petey Helsinger. Um, as you just heard, she's at her grandson's high school graduation today and really sad that she couldn't be here because she loves to be here every year. Um, her goal when she started the program was to inspire all students to go to college and to support the Harvard Kent School and its wonderful students and faculty. And because of the enormous support from our community, from the people who live here, the people who work here, the businesses here, we've been able to award uh, college scholarships with the ones today to over 80 students. Uh, which is, yeah. <laughs> 30 of them are now in college, and 21 have already graduated. And we have with us today six of the graduating seniors who will be going on to college in the fall. Congratulations to you all. So we're, we're also proud to support the school in other ways. Over the years, we've supported the reading program, the music program. We started a couple of years ago with a teacher mini grant program. Uh, to support innovative programs that the faculty design to help um, everybody in the school to come up with some interesting things to do. So, uh, before we get to the award ceremony, I want to recognize the board. We have our board of directors. We also have our members from the advisory board and our friends board. I'd like you all to stand. You all devote endless hours of volunteer time and devotion to this organization. So could everybody please stand and be recognized. Thank you all. And that's it. All right, thank you Susan. Thanks for your, uh, for your kind words and thank you to the board again for everything you do for our kids. Students, we have a couple more important people here I think you'll want to hear from, so we're going to give them a chance to say a few words. How's that sound, okay? All right, all right. I think we'll start with, all right, guys, this is where you have to be good. This next person is my boss, all right? So this year has been a big year for BPS. We have a new superintendent who's going to be taken over in January, but over the past year, um, my boss has been working really hard to make sure that the schools keep moving forward and that we keep continuing great things in places like the Harvard Kent. Um, we're thrilled that she could be here today, and I know this is a big week for her and for someone else who's on our stage. A lot of great news coming for BPS, but I want to introduce my boss, the acting superintendent, Laura Peril. Thank you, Jason. Good morning, everyone. I am so thrilled to be here at this celebration for all of you. 
It makes me so proud to see so many students who will be honored for all the hard work they do um, through the Harvard Kent Leadership Scholarship um, Fund. So thank you so much to all of the partners um, and community residents who make that possible. This is my favorite time of year when we all get to celebrate the accomplishments of students that represents the hard work that you all have put in all year, um, that your teachers and all the staff and your principal have helped support you in and your family as well. So to see it all come together and to see how hard you've worked this year makes all of us up on this stage so very proud of you. I can't wait to see the excitement on faces when names are called, but I want to um, salute all of you for the work that you have done this year, whether or not your name gets called today. I also look forward as a longtime BPS parent myself to seeing all the families um, who will be able to uh, join and celebrate as well. The award recipients today are being um, recognized for all the right reasons. Um, for doing well academically, promoting school spirit, being peer leaders, and being a good friend. That matters, and it matters inside your classroom, and it makes all of you stronger, better, and more positive students when you reach out and help each other. So I'm so proud to see that that is part of today's award as well. You are serving as positive role models for all of your fellow students, and showing the whole school what you're capable of. And I want to give a special shout out to our returning scholars um, because you represent what it looks like when you make it all the way through to high school graduation with the strength of what you've learned here at the Harvard Kent. So I am um, thrilled to be here. Um, so many others want to congratulate you as well. Um, so I just want to thank everyone for what you do on behalf of the Boston Public Schools and our children. Um, it takes a village to do what we do in this city. Today is a big day of celebration, so congratulations to all of you. Thank you, Superintendent Peril. Up next, I want to introduce someone who it's also her first time at the ceremony. Um, I know she's had a very busy week, and we're so excited that she could be here. Some of you remember that every year, one of our big guests would be uh, the president of the Boston Teachers Union, Richard Stutman. He came every year and, and gave a nice speech, and he was always, uh, we were always excited to have him. This year, we are lucky enough to have um, BTU president, Boston Teachers Union president, Jessica Tang here with us, and she'd like to say a couple of words. Jessica. So good morning, everyone. I am so excited to be here. It is always the highlight of my week when I get to be in schools and to be with students. And I remember last year going into the kindergarten classroom and reading with some of the students. And so some of you may be here even today, or actually it was a couple years ago, so you really might be here today. And um, just really thrilled that there is this public-private par partnership that enables this scholarship and really proud of all the students and winners and returning students. And it is really my honor to be able to congratulate you all for your hard work and to start thinking about college today. That is so awesome that we are in an elementary school thinking about higher education already because that's where we need to start thinking about these things. So on behalf of the 10,000 members of the Boston Teachers Union and all of your teachers and educators in this school throughout the city of Boston. Congratulations again and thank you so much. And I'm really looking forward to coming back and reading in some more classrooms. So thank you guys and have a great day. Thank you, Jessica. Up next, I have someone who um, is fighting really hard for the neighborhoods of Charlestown and East Boston um, in City Hall. As a matter of fact, she was just here on, what was that, Wednesday night? Wednesday night, working really hard for the people of Charlestown. Um, so she's someone who we're really excited to have as our city councilor, and I'm sure some of you students might have met her before in a couple of your classes. Um, but please welcome city councilor Lydia Edwards. Well, good morning, everyone. I, thank you. Um, I just wanted to say and echo everything that uh, my colleagues have said today, but I also wanted to make sure that when we are celebrating all of the victories and for those particular people who are going to get scholarships, I wanted to also celebrate the hard work that got into those folks uh, that was put into those children to make sure that they're available, that they are here, that they are present. So I want to give a shout out. And if they wanted to stand, that's fine. But to all the teachers here today at the Harvard Kent who helped make that happen. So to all the teachers, let's give your teachers a round of applause. To 
all the teachers at the Harvard Kent because this is a celebration also of your work as well. Of the investment, your time, your skill sets, everything that you put into helping these kids, not just the kids who are getting awards, but the kids who are also here to celebrate. And to those kids who are getting awards, congratulations, I'm so proud of you. And for those kids who may not get today's award because you are going to be because you're at an amazing school, you will one day be getting an award. Celebrate with your classmates. This is a day to celebrate the success because we're all shining together when any of us shine from our schools. So this is a day for all of us to celebrate. And I just also wanted to say I am calling it. I know I see a future city councilor in this audience. I see a future state rep. I definitely see a future mayor in here. So not only should you be thinking about college, but please be thinking about politics as well because we want your leadership also on this stage. So thank you. Thank you, Councillor Edwards. Our, our next guest, uh, he's really no stranger to the Harvard Kent. He's been to the ceremony a couple times. And I believe just a couple show weeks ago, he was with Ms. McDonough's careers in the community group. Gigi, was he with you guys? Okay. So he was definitely just here a couple weeks ago. So, um, you know, our next guest is a big champion of education here in the city of Boston. Um, we always um, know that he's looking out for the students, not only of the Harvard Kent, but in all the Boston public schools, and we appreciate the hard work that he puts into his job every day to make sure we have great schools for great kids. Please give a round of applause to our mayor, Mr. Marty Walsh. Thank you, Mr. Gallagher. How's everyone doing today? Good. You excited? Yeah. Are you missing a class right now? I think we're supposed to be in a class somewhere, right? So should I talk for like two hours? Yes. No, okay, I won't talk for two hours. Let me, uh, let me just begin by, by, I want to thank a few people because it's important to acknowledge people. And I want to start by thanking Mr. Gallagher, who is an amazing leader in the city of Boston, our schools, in this amazing school. I want to thank all the teachers in this school, all the paras in this school, all the people in the school that make this school run and operate and work well. I want to give a shout out to all the kids here. In particular, I want to give a shout out to my fourth graders I was talking about over there. What's up, fourth grade? How are you over there? You're supposed to be excited. You told me to do this. You got me in trouble with the whole school now by doing that. But I want to thank you. I want to thank uh, your state representative, Danny Ryan. I want to thank your city councilor, Lydia Edwards, who was up here a minute ago. Uh, I want to thank Susan for her, Susan for her great work. I want to thank Laura Perel for, for stepping in this year and doing good things. Um, most importantly, I want to thank the partnership. Uh, I want to thank the group of parents in Charlestown that came together, and the people from Charlestown that first came together to create this scholarship. Uh, saw the, the vision and the importance of creating this scholarship in this particular school. Thank you, because in 2017, this school rose to a level one school, and that was because of the leadership of the parents, the leadership of Mr. Gallagher, the leadership of the teachers, all of that. We should be proud of that. So I want to thank you uh, for what you do. The people that have been here from the beginning, thank you. And the new people coming in, thank you as well. Um, that's important. Um, I don't really know what to say other than I, this event is one of the best events, as was said already about three times, that we have in the city of Boston every year. And it's a great event because it acknowledges and recognizes six outstanding students in third, fourth, and fifth grade. But it's a great event because what I like in the last couple of years coming here is seeing the students that come back that actually got the scholarship and see the smiles on their faces and see that how much they have grown and how much they have really changed over time, but they still love the Harvard Kent in their heart. So I want to congratulate you, the high school graduates that are going on to college because you are the future. The council said this. You are the future, council, future city councilors, the future mayors, the future state representatives, the future leaders of our city. So I want to thank you for what you do. Just real quick, a couple, couple, of, couple of great things we were able to do. I want to thank Jessica Tang, because in the last, the last few weeks, maybe a little longer than that, we've been sitting in a room talking about a teacher's contract. And at the end of the day, and if you saw it say in the paper, and yesterday in the paper, the teacher's contract came out. And the number one theme of that contract, it was good for the students of the Boston Public Schools. So I want to thank the teachers, I want to thank Jessica and her leadership, and I want to thank all the teachers because it is about young people. So congratulations on that. I also want to give a shout out to City Council Edwards and Danny Ryan. Because this school, as I said, went, from a went, went to a level one school in 2017. And because of their advocacy and a lot of parents' advocacy and a lot of people's advocacy, 
in the next couple of years, this school is going to go from a, from a K to five to a K to six. And I want to congratulate them as well and all of us working to make it happen. It's amazing what can happen when we all get in a room and talk together and try and move forward. So that's, that's my thank you to everyone. To the young people in the room, let me ask you this question. Everyone paying attention? Yeah. Does everybody have a dream what you want to do when you get older? Yeah. If you have a dream, raise your hand if you have a dream. Raise your hand. High school students too, if you have a dream, raise your hand. All right, how do you, what, what's your dream? Either one, both of you, right here first. Yeah. Musician. Nurse. How do you think we become a nursery musician? Do we get it by hanging at home, playing video games, and hanging on the corner? Do you get it by not doing your homework and not paying attention in school? How do you get it? Somebody yell out to me. How do you get it? I heard work hard. I heard do homework. What else did I hear? Practice. What else did I come out? What else? What else you got to do? Tell me what you got to do. You got to go to school. Is there any school part of this? Go to school, go to college, go to high school. So just make sure whether you're in third grade, whether you're in eighth grade, uh, 12th grade, whether you graduated and you're 52 years old, I'm really not 52, I'm 32. Well, if you're 52 years old, continue to dream. It's important for you to dream. I am so proud of this school. I love this school. I love all of you. Have a great day. To the, to the young people that are getting scholarships today, Congratulations, great job, well done. All right, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I'd now like to introduce one of our fifth grade scholars who will share with everyone what it means to be a leader scholar. She's an amazingly resilient young lady and got here just in time for the ceremony today. Um, so please welcome Aria Beckett. everyone. Welcome to the Leadership Scholarship Ceremony. My name is Aria Beckett. I won my scholarship in grade 4, 2018. It feels great to be a scholar, but when I found out, I was shocked. On the morning of June 1st, 2018, my dad was dropping me off to school and I said, hey dad, today is a ceremony day where students can win a $1,000 scholarship for college. Then he responded, Hmm, that's good. <laughs> I walked into class and my class went to the cafeteria. We sat and waited for Mr. Gallagher to announce the winners. When he got to the fourth grade, he described a girl, then called Aria Beckett. I was so surprised and thought it was a dream. I walked on stage and I saw my dad coming upstairs from the back room and gave him a very curious look. He had known the whole time and kept it a secret from me. I think that was one of my favorite announcements of all time, Aria. I don't have favorites, but you're definitely one of my favorites. So. <laughs> nice job, Aria. So this time I want to introduce our former Harvard Kent students who will be heading to college next year to come on up here on stage. So come on up, guys. Come on up, don't be shy. So what I'm going to have all of our recipients do is they're going to say their name, what high school they're graduating from, and where they'll be going to college. Okay? All right. It's that way. I'm John Carlos. Uh, I'm graduating from BLA, and I'm going to UMass Boston. I'm Desaya. I'm graduating from Fenway High School and I'm going to Wentworth Institute of Technology. I'm Victor. I'm graduating from the O'Brien. I'm going to UMass Low. Hello, my name is Laura and I'm gra graduating BLA and I'm going to Regis. 
My name is Wen Yin. I'm graduating from BLA, and I'll be attending Wellesley College. Let's hear it for all of our high school graduates heading to college next year. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Come on. And uh, don't worry, if you guys go to the library after the ceremony, you'll get your checks, I promise. All right. Third, fourth, and fifth graders, is there anyone else you want to hear from before we announce the scholars? Are you sure? All right. So now for the moment we've all been waiting for. We're going to announce the 2019 Harvard Camp Leadership Scholarship winners. We're going to start with grade three. Where are our grade three students? All right, here we go. This is, this is a great class, and we know it's always tough, but we have two wonderful winners. And our first grade three winner is described by his teacher as someone who is so positive and loves to talk so much that he may actually be the future mayor of Boston. <laughs> Which is funny because sometimes I call him the, the mayor of the Harvard Kent. He arrives at school every day with a huge smile on his face and a very positive attitude. And usually he's the first student here. His teacher states that his writing has improved dramatically this year because of his hard work and perseverance, and he has seen similar growth with his reading. He's always willing to help a friend in class, and his positive attitude is infectious. Perhaps the highest compliment his teacher paid him is that he makes it an absolute joy to be his teacher. I myself was very excited when I found out that the student was a scholarship recipient because we talk pretty much every day and he always makes me smile as well. So please welcome our first scholarship winner of the day, Sabian Halley. Sabian, come on up buddy. Someone else is here to see you as well. A couple other people. Congratulations, Savian. And now, a classmate of yours, our second third grade winner, is described by her teachers as a kind, considerate, and hardworking third grade student who listens closely during every lesson and is able to push herself to grow as a learner because she uses every bit of instruction and resources to improve her work in learning. She's a model student in class and is always excited to work with or support a fellow student. Her hard work has resulted in strong growth in reading, writing, and in math. Her teacher feels lucky to have her in her class. Please welcome our second scholarship recipient from grade three, the very kind and considerate, Adriana Montalban. And I'm pretty sure you have some folks here to see you too, Adriana.
Adriana's not used to the paparazzi, so she's a little... Fourth graders, you guys ready? All right. No? You want me to skip to fifth? All right, fourth grade, all right, all right. Our first fourth grade winner is described as a role model within the classroom and throughout the school. She approaches all tasks with enthusiasm, and when something is new or difficult for her, she embraces the challenge and puts the extra time and energy necessary to improve. She also works hard in the classroom, completes all of her homework assignments, and has outstanding attendance. By pushing herself to succeed, she inspires others to work up to their potential. I'm pretty sure this next story will give away who the person is, but I have to tell it anyways, because it's really worth telling. Uh, on Valentine's Day, this student made um, personalized, handmade, thoughtful cards, um, explaining what she liked about each student in her class. Later, a few of her uh, parents asked the teacher about her because they wanted to meet the lovely young lady who brightened their son on daughter's day. These parents had no idea that she had written personalized notes to every single one of her classmates and that she regularly brightens her classmates' day because that's who she is. It is my pleasure to introduce the first grade four scholarship recipient of the day, Jiahui Jenny Lee. <laughs> Hold on, and there's someone here for you too, Jenny. Come on over there. Congratulations. Way to go, Jenny. Our second grade full winner is described by her teachers as a passionate, hardworking, and kind-hearted student. She epitomizes scholarship and leadership. A gifted writer, she plans to become a best-selling author or a songwriter someday. She's eager to learn and loves to read new books. I think I just heard like nine kids whisper her name. She shines academically but also uses her skills to support her classmates. She assists classmates in a gentle and non-condescending manner and has a knack for explaining things in simple terms and bringing levity and humor to tough situations. Her mild temperament and quirky sense of humor make her well-liked by her classmates and her teachers. It makes me very proud to introduce our second grade full winner, she's looking right at me with a big smile, <laughs> Sophia Salgado. All right, Sophia, way to go. Grade five, your last leadership scholarship ceremony. So you already have a few scholars up here on stage, but we're gonna add a couple more to that list today. Our first grade five winner is described as a kind friend who has the potential to be a great leader. He is a strong mathematician and reader who has grown tremendously as a writer this year as well. He also enjoys helping out his peers in the classroom, considering himself an assistant to the teacher. Many of his friends agree that this student should be a scholarship recipient saying, he's hardworking, kind, and helps others catch up with their work. I'm excited to introduce our first grade five recipient, my longtime friend, Marcus Wixon. <laughs> Congratulations. 
Congratulations, Marcus. Marcus, you can have a quick Our final scholarship award of the day goes to someone who I'm going to miss a lot next year. This student is an enthusiastic learner who puts first forth her best effort on every learning task. Her academic work consistently exceeds grade level expectations. Socially, she's kind and patient with her peers. It's difficult to imagine a student that better exemplifies the Harvard Kent school values. One trait that comes to mind when thinking about this student is her resilience. This is most evident in her learning. She's unafraid to take risks, and when mistakes are made, she seizes an opportunity to learn something new. Her friends describe her as someone who makes her own decisions and picks what's right, not wrong. And because when someone is being a little disrespectful, she doesn't encourage that person and she's not entertained. <laughs> Personally, I'm gonna miss her vibrant personality, her big smile, and this is probably gonna give it away as well, giving her the claw on MCAS days for more brain power. It's my pleasure to, uh, to introduce Sunia Chen as our final scholarship winner of the day. Where's Sunia? Does she need help getting up here? Oh, here she is. Uh, Sunia recently broke her foot. <laughs> Congratulations, Samia. Let's hear it one more time for all our scholarship recipients. At this time, I'd like to invite up uh, State Representative Dan Ryan, a Charlestown resident and Charlestown native. Um, just to say a couple words about uh, a gift he has from the State House. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for being such great friends to your classmates, giving everyone a nice big round of applause. Thank you to the, the board to put this event together and for all you do. And I just want to thank the members up here of the panel. Uh, my job, guys, I work under that big dome, the gold dome that you see. So we try to get as much state funding as we can to your schools and the Jessica Tang and the City Council of Edwards and the Mayor. They're always on me to make sure I'm doing my job. Up at, oh, okay. You have your glasses? Uh, no. <laughs> up at the State House. So we're going to be getting more funding to you guys so you're going to even do a better job in the future. And we also have uh, citations from, uh, from the Commonwealth, from the House of Representatives. You're not that old, Mr. Gallagher. You don't have reading glasses yet. <laughs> And uh, they all say the same, but this one's Savy and Halley. Here, hereby known to all that the Mass House of Representatives offers its sincerest congratulations to Savy and Halley being awarded a 2019 Harvard Kent Leadership Scholar. Your hard work and steadfast dedication is a credit to the Harvard Kent community and the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Given this 31st day of May 2019, signed by Speaker Robert DeLeo and myself, State Representative for Charlestown. Right. So, this is in recognition for the hard work that you do makes my job easier because I get to go to the State House and tell the rest of the state what great students we have here in Boston. So thank you all. All right, congratulations. Thank you, Representative Ryan. Now I'd like to introduce uh, one of our fourth grade leadership scholars winning for past years, uh, Michelle Wong, who has a couple words to say to wrap this up for us. Wow, that's way too <laughs> <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm Michelle Huang. I won the Leadership Scholarship in fourth grade 2018. 
I want to say congrats to the new leadership scholarship winners for winning and working so hard to get recognized and picked for the scholarship. Thank you everybody for coming and seeing your friends and fellow classmates earn an opportunity to succeed. For all their hard work has paid off. Everybody may remain seated until Mr. Gallagher has given directions. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, wow, thanks, Michelle. I get to give directions. So stay in your seats. <laughs> Thank you to everyone for joining us here today. Congratulations to all our winners. Congratulations to all of our high school graduates. And thank you to all our special guests who came for the ceremony today. Thank you very much. And if we could have third grade file out first, that would be great. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.